Option 18 Elids, a sugar company paid 362,400 kwasha as dividend for 1,200 shares. A man had 20 shares in the company, calculate the amount paid. Again, it's important to know the question. What's the question? The question is asking us to find the amount paid to the man who had 20 shares. So, to answer question A, what we need to do is we need to find the dividend paid per share. Dividend paid per share. So, so it's a dividend paid per share is equal to total dividend paid. Paid. Divide by number of shares. Total number of shares. Then once we find how much was paid per share in terms of dividend, we can multiply that amount by 20 shares to find the total amount that this man would have received. So again, here is just a matter of dealing with big numbers when dividing. So we have 362,400 kwacha. We are dividing by the number of shares which are this one because this is the dividend which was paid. Then this is the number of shares. So we have 1,200. Then we divide. We cancel zeros. So the zeros are out. Then we remain with a 12. So what I can do is I can divide 12 into 36. 12 into 36 is 3 remainder 0. 12 into 0 plus 2 is 0 remainder 2. Then 2 and 4 they become 24. Then 12 into 24 is a 2 remainder 0. So I have 3, 0, 2. If you want, you can start dividing by 444, 4, 4, but it's easier. We just say 12 into 36 is 3 remainder 0. Then 0 and 2, they become this number. 12 into 0, 2, because it's 0, 10, then that is 0 remainder 2. Then we bring this 4 here, 24. 12 into 24 now, it becomes 2 remainder 0. So, because we have no further zeros, it becomes 302. Now, this 302 is the dividend paid per share, DPS. So, for every share, 302 was paid. So, to find the total amount which was paid, so, amount received by a man, received by a man, is equal to, how many shares did this man has? This man had 20 shares multiplied by the dividend. So what you are saying is the number of shares multiplied by dividend per share, which is 302. Then, because again in Pepon they, they don't allow calculators, we just say now 302 multiplied by 20. You come here, this is 0, 0, 0, then 2, 4, then 0, then 6. So we have which is 6,000, 0, like that. So 6,040 kwacha. This is the amount that he received. Once you do that, you are good to go. You get these two marks. We got to question B. Find the equation of a line parallel to 2x plus y equals 4, passing through negative 5,3. So the principle here is, if you remember, the property of parallel lines. So if two lines are parallel, they have got same gradient. This gradient, the slope is the same because they are parallel. That's the principle. So once we know this principle, then we can express the equation that we are given into this format. Y is equal to mx times m times x plus c. m is c, the gradient. So now... If you check the equation that we are given, the equation is this one. So we need to make y the subject formula. Then we have this coordinate. So I have now b of 2x plus y is equal to 4. Then the coordinate that we are given, so that I don't have to be moving, is negative 3, comma, negative 5, comma, 3, negative 5, comma, 3, like this. Then I make y the subject formula. So y is equal to minus 2x plus 4. It means the gradient is equal to negative 2, which is in the coefficient of x. 
So now we know what the gradient is. Then to find the equation it becomes easier. So you just we use this formula m x again plus c. So we know this is x, then this is y. Substituting there, then we find what the value of c is. So y is 3, then what is m negative 2. Then what is x? x is negative 5, then plus c. So what you are saying is if you have this line, because it's now downward sloping, it's coming down like this. Then it's cutting. Okay? It's cutting at C. So we need to find this point. We know we know what it is. When x is equal to negative 5 here, this value is 3 of y. It's 3 somewhere there. So it's a bit it's a bit uh, slanted, not very sloppy, like that. So what you are looking for is to find the value of C now. So we have 3 equals 10, because negative 2 times negative 5 is a 10. You need to be careful here. This is where a lot of people mess up. So you multiply that plus C. What you notice is, what will be C? So C will equal to 3 minus 10 is equal to C. The moment this one crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. Be careful on that one, so you have negative 7 is equal to C. So we know what the value of C is. So if you know what the value of C is, then we can substitute in this equation. We know what M is, and we know what the value of C is. So the equation becomes now Y is equal to negative 2X minus 7. So Y is equal to negative 2X minus 7. This is the equation we are looking for. Once you do that, you are good to go. You get these two marks. Again, if you have been downloaded our comprehensive app, which is your perfect stud companion to his bamboozle the exams, go to the Play Store and search for S General Secondary, which is G C S E exams, E C Z. So that's for grade 12. Then there's also for grade 9 and there's also for grade 7. Or check on the description link below. You'll see the link direct to the Play Store where you can get the app. It will help you to prepare, get confidence as you approach your exams and realize your dream.